I just created a new clan where 50 people are going to compete against each other to destroy this high security town hall that is protected by 22 deadly laser beams. Quickest person to take it down gets $100. First things first in order to make a competition I had to create a clan with a unique catchy name and then place its location to chat to draw attention of all the giga chads in the world. With no surprise at all after waiting couple of minutes the clan was full of the most athletic couch esport players who were all ready to flex their brain muscles in order to win the high IQ championship and purchase a NASA rocket with the prize money. After they all politely greeted each other one of them asked what are the challenge rules. Well they are very simple. First of all everyone has one attempt. Secondly jump spells earthquake spells wall breakers and super wall breakers are not allowed. Thirdly all the troops heroes and siege machines have to be deployed only from the box where the arrow flag is. And lastly out of 25 attacks whoever gets the town hall destroyed the quickest is the winner. Straight after explaining the rules I started the challenge hoping that everyone understood them until the first competitor arrived who decided to get disqualified from the very first millisecond of the challenge by deploying those dung beetle looking wall breakers that tried to break the teeth of my Mike Wazowski inspired base design. After the wall breakers caused some massive damage to my base mini frog tried to see how quickly will he be able to kill rest of his army by allowing Mike Wazowski spit some saliva on his troops and I got to say pretty quickly as he walked away with absolutely amazing score that no one will ever be able to beat. If you are now wondering how can you take part of the challenge to potentially get roasted and win $100 then it is as simple as hitting that subscribe button because only my subscribers are able to see the community post when and where I am going to host another challenge. The great thing is that not only you will get the chance to win $100 but you will also get extra IQ that many people have already claimed like Rick Astley, Jim Cook, Uta14 and so on. Anyway going back to see how Mike Wazowski is doing I noticed an army allergic to breeze of wind arrived as two double zaps were ordered up from the sky to turn the area around my F fans absolutely flat so I told the builder Bob to put on the tin foil cap in order to check the disaster scene a sap but unfortunately it was too late as he confirmed that the air fans indeed had been snapped. Then what seemed to be a big candy packed in a red wrap flew quickly over Mike's teeth cap right into the hidden tornado trap that may be chaos from the queen yo whatsapp but she she got distracted by the balloons dancing in circles on the map after which they went to take a little nap that pretty much wrapped up the rap. But the attack was not over yet as one pink haired weirdo got lost on his way to home so he screamed at the top of his lungs for mommy and daddy to come to pick him up so the sergeant minion did the honors and took the little kid safely back home. After sharing the challenge for the third time the only pro player arrived to the clan that was a clear indicator that people are taking the competition seriously including the third attacker who put all of his troops on steroids in order to boost their performance but little did he know that he gave one red yellow carrying furry from Rio Car level way too many steroids that he didn't even fit into the box anymore so I had to do what people in the chat demand didn't disqualify him which to be honest didn't even matter because he was as far from the Mike Wazowski laser beam I as west is from the east until the myth the legend arrived with three piles of moving rocks and six sisters who just got out of a boiling hot sauna as their armor was steaming from the heat. Meanwhile on the other side of the base a 54 year old Spongebob Squarepants was handing out autographs to his meatless fans who had been waiting 4 years to meet their idol. Not only they saw Spongebob himself but also all his grandchildren who were now destroying my base and drinking up my MT elixir storage. Then the sergeant minion and lieutenant ice cube went to chill out with the ladies watching some fireworks but unfortunately they caught some cold and died. Next up an attacker arrived that I was the most afraid of. Yes guys when I saw the devil attacking my base I quickly ran and hid under the blanket to witness the biggest massacre in the history of Clash of Clans as punch of punk rock fans with Santa bags were running towards the empty glass of strawberry and cream pina colada to quench their thirst after raving to Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's piano concerto numbero 21. After Mike did a final sneeze the massacre was over with that number 6 on the scoreboard for the devil who was obviously simping for that queen that made me give him an honor of having this exclusive tag no one else has so far. Then some blue birds with that flying candy in a red wrap arrived who couldn't even get a 1 star on the base where all the buildings are literally clued together which should be a perfect case scenario for those flying units that made me wonder if I have built way too strong base that can't be beaten. 
my suspicion got confirmation when another candy flew right into Mike's mouth that caused many dental cavities due to the amount of sugar but even that couldn't make enough damage to allow any bluebirds near the building that could potentially give its demolisher $100. Since this base was way too strong even for all the giga chads in the chat then I told my secretary Buff Bizos to tell people that if no one gets the town hall then highest percentage wins which meant that our last attacker was in the lead. After letting people know highest percentage wins there was immediately a competitor that definitely went for the percentage while most of them were going for the town hall including this person who almost touched the laser eyeball but still had to admit that yo boy Jaso had it all calculated out to keep people away from the town hall until Alitace came with a big brain move by perfectly delivering a squad of teenage ninja turtle looking goblins to the desired destination. But he did not know that Yo Boy added that little surprise right in front of the town hall. Then many more attacks happened and even some that tried to copy the strategy that almost brought down the $100 building but it was a real struggle as most of the lickity loggity blimps were eaten by the monolith. After many more failures some people wanted to be made fun of not once but twice as I had to ask Buff Bizos to give them a bum bum slap and send them back to their home clans. Once I saw that no one really gets near the town hall my confidence grew until Rush Marriage and pulled up with his blue bird attack that seemed to be like every single other attack until he landed this pinjata full of goblins right next to the town hall that completely outran the trigger timer of the giant bomb that was supposed to turn them into mummies which it sure did but only after the $100 building was already destroyed. As builders were panicking and searching where the town hall disappeared it was time to pull $100 out of my pocket to hand over to Rush but as said in the rules then there will be 25 attacks in total and we still have 5 of them to go. This is where things got serious especially when our next attacker Jayesh brought over his boys with shovels that soon after deployed went missing but they were not the only troops going missing as punch of BA barracuses and their pigs got spat on by Mike that resulted in Jayesh getting that massive destruction on my base. After another blue bird attack in between Jayesh thought it would be brilliant idea to show up again to demonstrate his 300 IQ attacking skills which in the end gave him 11% instead of 9% so I had to give him a good clap. No, not this clap, this clap. After two more attacks it was time to see if the last person can take the money from Rush Marriage who is leading the competition. To start off our guy Wachi came with two teenage ninja turtles, 18 twin turbo balloons, 5 grumpy 9 month long pregnant pigs with wings and another pinjata full of gifts that is already flying on its way towards the town hall but then he decided to dance some tango and then continue again which ended up with Wachi somehow getting his teenage ninja turtles inside the core to destroy the town hall. As shock as the end result was I didn't know who got the town hall destroyed quicker so I opened my computer to measure which one of the competitors had bigger footage and it turned out that the person attacking last won it by destroying the town hall 15 seconds and 22 milliseconds faster. Then I congratulated Wachi on winning the high IQ championship and sent him the money. Anyway if you enjoyed this video then I am 99% sure you will also like this video where I hired a professional clash of clans coach and pretended to be a complete noob. Have a lovely day.